We are getting closer and closer to GTA 6's first trailer finally releasing, only about a week or so away from that happening. And in this video, I wanted to go over five new major tech features that are going to be in GTA 6. Or at least I hope, because look, obviously the game's not really out. We don't know a whole bunch about the game. I'm hoping a lot of these things we find out in the actual trailer coming out in a couple weeks. So I guess maybe this is more of a wish list, but a lot of these things we actually have seen in certain like patents that Rockstar have filed or throughout the various leaked videos uh, that happened last year. The first new major tech though is fully realized interiors. Now, I don't think every single building will have an interior because I just don't think we're at the point in gaming where that's possible. But GTA 6 might finally be a game where like maybe 80% of the buildings can be entered and explored. I've mentioned this a few times over the last couple of weeks, but here's a quote from a Jason Schreer article talking about GTA 6. He says, the game's world remains large with more interior locations than previous Grand Theft Auto games. So it does sound like this is something Rockstar focused on, the interiors of the game. Obviously, they were lacking in GTA 5. That was one of the big complaints. So I think they took that complaint and said, you know what? You guys want interiors? We'll give you interiors. And I hope this is the case. I cannot wait to run around the city while having, you know, five, six stars on me, whatever the case may be, only to drop it to some small little store to evade the cops. It's going to be a lot of fun. The second thing, the second major tech that I think is going to be in GTA 6 is a dynamic and impactful weather system. I've already talked a little bit about the weather. I showed you guys some RDR2 footage, and that's what you're going to be seeing a little bit here. Look, the weather in RDR2 was already phenomenal. And to build off of that system, to make a system where, you know, the weather, it might start out as a sunny day. And then over time, of course, a thunderstorm rolls in. Or like many people in the South know, in the summer, you get these afternoon storms. So that could be something that happens. And a lot of this stuff is dynamic in the world. So things like when there is a, a bad thunderstorm, there's more traffic because the traffic's driving a little bit slower. NPCs, if they do drive fast, maybe they're skidding. Maybe there's a lot more accidents in the rain. NPCs not in cars, just out in the world, they'll run for cover instead of just sitting in the rain like uh, they do in, RD or in GTA 5. Maybe certain missions will be better in various different weathers. Like if it's foggy, maybe a stealth mission is better, right? A dynamic and impactful weather system. I mean, it's honestly the next step for Rockstar. And I think that's what we're going to be seeing in GTA 6. So I can't wait for that. The third thing, and we've heard a lot about this, the AI for the NPCs. Actually, in one of the videos uh, I talked about a couple days ago about the patents that Rockstar have filed over the last couple of years, it sort of mentioned this. When I say advanced AI for NPCs, stuff like, you know, these NPCs having a daily schedule, a daily routine. So they're not just driving aimlessly until they're out of your sight and then they disappear. Part of this might also interact with a traffic system where... You know, a lot of these NPCs, like normal, they get off for work at a certain time, there's more traffic. They get off of work at a certain time, there's more traffic. At nighttime, it's a lot more quiet because these NPCs are sleeping, they're, they're not out. Maybe the NPCs react to certain things that the player does, or they just react to certain things going on in the game, like the economy and certain events. Maybe there are NPCs that have different profiles or different like mannerisms like some of them are more scared maybe some of them are more willing to get into a fight with you maybe some of them are willing to run from the cops you know certain stuff like that based off of like their personalities i think that is going to be one of the bigger aspects of this game that just make it feel so much better that brings us to the fourth new major tech and this was another thing that, that was mentioned in one of the patents rockstar mentioned and filed like a couple years ago but an evolving like ecosystem, an evolving world. Stuff like wildlife having different patterns, maybe their seasons, plant growth, urban development, maybe things actually get built over time, unlike in GTA 5 where they just were under construction for 20 years. Certain small things like buildings degrading over time if it's like in a poorer area. Certain like graffiti and dirt and damage accumulating on certain buildings over time could be a really great thing. 
Or maybe the opposite, certain things get better, get nicer looking. Maybe dependent on what us, the main character, decides to do. That is another new tech feature that I would just would love to see in this game. An evolving, an actual evolving world. And then the final thing is another one that was mentioned in a patent, a real-time news system. This could be a very, very fun thing in the game. Especially, look, we're going to have a phone in the game. I'm sure there's going to be like a Twitter app or a, some sort of news app. There's definitely going to be the, the live TV. Imagine you're just driving and then on one of the live TVs, you see some stuff that you did. Like that would be so cool, so fun. And this for sure would be something I think Rockstar would love to satirize. Imagine having different media outlets in game reporting with their own different biases on certain like events in the game. That would be so funny, I think. So again, I definitely would hope to see something like that in GTA 6. So those are five new features that I just, I would love to see in GTA 6. It sounds like some of them actually might be in the game. Again, going off of what we've heard in the past. What are some new tech features that you would like to see in GTA 6? What's something new you would like to see Rockstar do? We only have a couple more weeks until the trailer releases. So it's an exciting time for us GTA 6 fans. That's it for today's GTA 6 video though. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did. Enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.